Is your Dragon Faber game running extremely slowly and laggy in the Arctic launcher even though you have the best PC specs available? Well fret not because I have the solution to all of your problems right here so stay tuned. How's it going guys? I'm your host Corban Gaming. Welcome back to another Dragon Fable video and as you guys can tell from the title and introduction of the video already, today's video is going to be something a little bit different. So a little while back I actually released a video teaching you guys how to play Dragon Fable in 2021 and for Dragon Fable there are two main methods, one of which is using the browser trick. That one I've had, uh, I received quite a lot of comments regarding that method saying it's either not working or you know uh, are, people are still having some issues despite following the method exactly and the second method which is obviously to use Artix's official game launcher which is painfully slow and laggy for some weird reason okay so obviously the their game launcher is not exactly 100% optimized and for AQ we actually have a solution for that which is using NIVP's third party launcher however for Dragon Faber we do not have um, any third party launcher that being said just a few days ago, okay, I saw this Reddit post on uh, the Dragon Favor subreddit, okay, and this person actually discovered this method of playing Dragon Fable completely lag free. So this is not my idea at all. This uh, full credits go to this Reddit user by the name of One Three Three Spider. Okay, so he actually showed us this uh, little app called Flash Projector, and using Flash Projector, I'm going to play the video for you guys right now. You can see the difference. Look at that. This is the, the Artix launcher and this is in Flash Projector. Look at the huge difference it makes. This is insane, guys. And I can personally vouch for this because I have used this and it works wonders. Okay, even for people who have a slightly lower NPC specs, this Flash Projector software works wonders. Okay, and here I am going to teach you exactly how you can download and use this Flash Projector. Okay. If you guys don't like to watch my videos, uh, you can also go ahead and take a look at this Dragon Faber, Dragon Faber Optimization Guide written by Freddy Fry uh, from the Dragon Grabs uh, Discord. Okay, he has very kindly put together a very simple guide together with pictures to show you guys exactly how uh, you can go ahead and optimize your game using this method right here. So the first step, I will link all of the guides, all of the download links in the description of the video. So do go ahead and check out the description uh, if you guys want the download links for everything. So here there are three download links here, one for Windows, one for Linux and one for Mac. Depending on which uh, OS you are running, you want to download the one that is appropriate for your OS. So I am running Windows, so I'm going to download the Windows version. All I have to do is open, once you download it, uh, the app will be in your downloads folder. Just drag it out or you can leave it there. It's totally up to you. Uh, just leave it somewhere that's convenient for you. All you have to do is op uh, double click on the app, open it up, file you want to open, and you can paste your location right here. Okay, so this will be the location that you want to paste. I will leave this uh, link to the in the description down below so you guys can just copy and paste this. So it's play.dragonfaber.com slash game slash dfloader.swf. So then all you have to do is click OK and voila guys, you can now play Dragon Faber inside of this flash projector and it will be completely lag free. Now the only thing that uh, about this is that, oh you can expand your screen, okay. So you can uh, actually enlarge your screen here by pulling it, okay so that's nice. You can also play this on full screen mode so that's very nice as well, okay yes exactly Everything is about the same as the Arctic Game Launcher. In fact, I think it is exactly the same. The only difference is that you don't have to go through their stupid Arctic homepage, which means that if the homepage is down, you won't have the problem of not being able to access the game. Like the problem that I encountered the previous time when I was making the, uh, that other video on how to play Dragon Paper in 2021. Okay, so this is a great alternative and I highly recommend everyone to use it. Okay, and the second method, okay, this was actually by Freddy Fired himself okay this method right here pale moon browser okay this method uses the pale moon browser okay it's forked from mozilla code that still supports adobe flash player the browser is safe and regularly updated okay both of these methods have been tested and are certified safe so you don't have to worry about any viruses getting into your pc any malware or any sort of that uh, ridiculous stuff and this works for all pc users doesn't matter if your pc is high end or low end is guaranteed to be an improvement 
over the stock Arctic Games launcher. Okay, so this Pale Moon browser, there is the download link right here. You can choose to download one for Windows or one for Linux, okay, depending on your OS. Does not have one for Mac, unfortunately, but uh, Mac users, you guys can use the other method. Okay, so this is just another alternative. The two... Honestly, there's not much difference between the two, but if you ask me, I would prefer to use uh, this flash projector method simply because there are shorter steps and it is uh, just easier in my opinion. Okay, if you want to use this uh, method as well, you also can, but you know, uh, it's just another alternative if for some weird reason the flash projector method doesn't work for you. So all you have to do is download the browser, afterwards install it, okay, so you go to your downloads folder, find the file that you downloaded, afterwards you install it, and then you have to download another link here, this is the latest version of flash, okay, that doesn't have the disabling timer, so you can download it from any of the links right here. Once you download it, all you have to do is uh, install it and just choose the recommended set uh, settings for installation and also this is very important you want to set it such that uh, it doesn't check for updates so it doesn't update itself and you know basically kill your flash player because this was before they kill off flash player so you don't want to set it uh, such that it can update okay and once that is installed you can go to the pale moon browser right here okay and then you can go to the dragon favor website okay just dragonfavor.com Okay, click on play, click on play flash slash web version. And there you have it guys. Dragon Favor inside of the uh inside of uh, this Pale Moon web browser. So this is another method that you can use to play Dragon Favor if you like. Okay, personally I prefer the first method, but like I said, if you have some problems with the first method for whatever reason, you can use this method instead. And of course, if you have a DA, use the DA server whenever possible. Okay, so you don't have to see all those annoying ads. Okay, once again, I will link both the Discord, uh, I will link both this document, the Reddit post, and all of the download links in the description box for you guys as long as uh, also with a set of instructions so that you guys can follow the instructions. I highly recommend you guys to check out uh, Freddy Fire's guide right here because I think it's very well written and it has pictures to go along with it as well. So that's going to do it for today's video. I hope this video has been helpful for you guys, you know, to minimize the lag whenever you are playing Dragon Favor. And if you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you'd like to see more of such future content, be sure to subscribe to this channel. And till the next time, I'm your host Carbine Gaming. Peace out.